Hi, in this video, we are going to discuss converting an iOS XE router to an SD-WAN iOS XE router or CH. Before converting iOS XE router to an SD-WAN iOS XE router or CH, let us check router by performing some of the actions. So I will give show IP interface brief. As you can see, there are two interfaces which are down. So I'll go and bring it up one interface and that is interface gig uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 I will give no shit you can see here I am able to give no shit very easily without any problem so this interface should come up yeah you can see it has came up right so uh, let us perform some other uh, configurations like uh, giving the host name to this router So I have given a host name, so I'm able to configure this host name successfully. Now I will give, uh, configure an IP address. I will go and configure IP address on gig001. So I will just go to interface gig0 slash 0 slash 1. I will give IP address. So any dummy IP address I will give. So I will give as uh, 172.16.4.1. 17 uh, with a net mask of uh, slash 30 so we will just uh, check the configurations so <coughs> you can see here the interface came up which is gig 000 earlier it, were, uh, it was admin down but i have configured the ip address uh, you can see here the ip address is also getting uh, got configured right so now uh, the next configuration that i will do is some Configuring some IP route. Uh, let us configure a default IP route. Again to some uh, dummy gateway. Sorry, I forgot to give route. So let us give a gateway of one seventy two sixteen four dot eighteen. So let us check this configuration has been uh, successfully configured. So I will give INC IP route. You can see here I'm able to configure this. So I'll just check show IP route. So in the routing table also you can see this configurations. Uh, to convert uh, an iOS XC router, that is a normal iOS XC router. Uh, to an SD when I was XC or CH, we need to issue controller mode enable command. Uh, so uh, let us uh, give the controller mode enable command and enter it. So let us confirm this. Uh, the router has started booting. Uh, let us wait for some time. So you can see here the uh, messages like enabling control mode. You can see here. So controller mode has been enabled. Now after enabling it will go for a reboot. So let us wait for, a, wait for some time. I will pause this video uh, meanwhile. Router has booted successfully as sd -WAN router or sd -WAN iOS XC router or CH. You can see here uh, system booted in controller mode. Further, if we go down, uh, what I will do is I will uh, try to check if we can do any configurations. It is asking for username and password. This is what typically happens uh, when a router boots up as iOS XC router, uh, sd -WAN iOS XC router. You have to give a uh, username and password. Uh, but that username and password is a temporary username and password or any username and password you can give. Now it is asking you for uh, configuring a new password. You can uh, give any temporary password and confirm that password. Okay, as soon as uh, you enter into it, uh, you can see uh, this kind of uh, console messages you will get. That means whatever uh, new password we have configured, it is trying to set that password. 
Mm. The next thing uh, that I will show you here is uh, I will give show IP interface brief. When you give show IP interface brief, you can see here uh, we have gig 001 which is up. And the next thing uh, which you have to know here is uh, in a normal router when we do queue configure terminal it used to go to config term mode now it will not go here because it's an st event router so to do that i have to give uh, config transaction so once i will give the config transaction you will uh, get a message that uh, the system is still initializing that is uh, wait for pnp to complete or terminate so uh, what it is doing here is it is trying to do an uh, pnp or ztp so now uh, we don't have any ZTP, uh, we, we don't have anything uh, that leads to the PNP server or ZTP server. Uh, what we can do here, if you want to configure manually, we can go directly and give PNP service discovery stop. PNPA service uh, discovery stop. Uh, once we will give it, uh, we give this command. Uh, what happens here is that uh, you have to wait for some time such that the pnp discovery gets stopped and then you are allowed to do any configuration manually you want so uh, let us wait for some time uh, such that uh, this process gets stopped successfully uh, so pnp process has been stopped successfully uh, you can see here uh, this process has been stopped and the temporary password which you have configured has been successfully set right with that uh, what we can go do here is we can go and do configurations whatever we want so we have to view config transaction so it will take you to the config mode uh, and then uh, I will go and configure uh, IP address on any interface I want I will just go and configure IP address 172.16.4.17 and uh, 255.255.252 that is slash 30 IP I have configured so after that we have to give commit uh, for these configurations to get successfully applied <clears throat> then uh, what I will do is I will go and change the host name to any host name like I'll give so four double two one one as my host name. Uh, as soon as I give host name, you can see here the uh, host name is still router. It has not been changed to the host name that I have been provided. For that, I have to again uh, give the commit this configuration for the configuration to be successfully committed. You can see here now uh, the router's name is isr four double two one hyphen one, right? So uh, let us check the configurations um, that we have pushed, show IP uh, interface brief. If you check here, uh, you can see here uh, this particular IP I have configured, which is 172.16.4.17, which has configured successfully and pushed. Thank you for watching this video. This is the end of our video.